In today's video, I'm going to show you the best play to run at the end of halves in Madden NFL 21. How to beat man up three deep um, over the top in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video and my channel. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on giving you Madden 21 tips and tricks videos that you can apply to your own game to be able to help you win more games in Madden 21. So if that's something that encourages you or something that excites you, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, so trips tied in, and what we're going to do is we're going to sub in our best route runner. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me jump into the ratings here and just kind of explain what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone that has 90 deep route running or above, and ideally, um, you know, decent speed. So you see Godwin has 91 speed. Evans has 91 speed, which is okay. Um, now, deep route running. You see neither one of these guys actually are going to work. They don't have 90, which is fine. We'll just use Mike Evans, or, or we'll just use... Um, we could actually just use Scotty Miller, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it with the three different receivers and just show you. Um, ideally, again, you know, Devontae Adams, if you were the Packers, um, you could use this with him. Um, but basically, we'll try it first with um, with uh, Mike Evans, um, and then we'll go to Scotty Miller. But the play that we're going to be using is Pat's YA. Now, this is for the end of the half. This is a play that you can go to. Let's say they're in man up three deep. Most people like man up three deep, right? Most people. So if they're in man up three deep, you can go to this play. Oftentimes they're going to press coverage out of it. Most most of the time you're going to see that. And then they're probably going to shade coverage over top. Okay, so we're going to do those adjustments. And normally they're going to use her this guy. Okay, now all we're going to do on this play is we're trying to basically get the user to go with the tight end. That's what we're trying to do. It won't always happen, but that's what we're trying to do. So we're going to put the tight end on a post, put the running back on a block. And then on the left side, um, we're just going to take Chris Godwin and put him on a flat. That's literally it. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to do step is you're basically just going to try to get as much time in the pocket as you can. Pass lead this hard to the right whenever he gets over there. And as you can see, this thing is going to come close to dang near dotting it. Now, if he has 90 route running, he's going to beat him by multiple strides. And he's going to be able to rat catch that. Um, because he only has 84 uh, route running, then it's, it's not going to work quite right. But you see what I'm talking about. This is um, this is man up three deep. Let me get that. Uh, crap, I keep messing up my adjustments here. Man up three deep. Okay. And we're just calling off the dogs because in practice mode, the pass rush is absurdly good. But you can take that tight end. Like I said, you could put him on a, on a post route. You can also put him on a crossing route. And sometimes a crossing route is more effective. Um, but again, just pass lead this hard to the right. Hold that pass lead button. Click on. Get that wreck catch. And I'm telling you, I've completed so many one-play touchdowns at the end of halves with this play. They're just not expecting this. I can guarantee you that. Um, it's a really, really good route combo, uh, as you can see. Literally, the only adjustment you need to do is make sure you don't make sure you do not send the running back out on a route. If you are going to send the running back on a route, make sure it's a wheel route. But even then, I would recommend just leave him blocking. And the reason why is because what some people will do um, from man up 3D, if you take a look at the deep blues, you see that they are in um, outside thirds. So what some people will do against this is they will hot route them to deep halves. Um, see here, uh, I don't know what this this left side guy uh, will deep half him. So they'll hot route them to deep halves. This will help a little bit against some other plays that people might go to. But what you'll see is if they're in a deep half, this is going to actually make this worse. You see the deep half should come. Actually, he comes back on it fairly well. So I guess that's the counter to it normally that deep half will come down i think it's because i i think it's because i put the tight end on a crossing route and not a uh, a post let me let me try that let me show you that one more time so a deep half on outsides to me this is what people are going to do i guess is what i would do i would run deep halves because i think deep halves are much 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 more effective than than a outside third so you're going to see something like this route combination right here step up in the pocket um so just step up, step up, step up, step up. And wow, at a quarter three deep, I guess the deep half stays. So um, that's the counter to it. But um, if they're you know, if they if they're not paying attention, a lot of people don't pay attention at the end of the halves, I'm telling you. A lot of people just come out, they're going to they're gonna call this, um, and they're going to, you know, basically just say, you know, have fun. Um, 
And I'm telling you right now, this little route combination right here, you know, if you need to get downfield at the end of a half, this is really good. The crossing route um, will get open if you need like a, you know, if you need a quick chunk play. And then this post route, obviously, you still have that little shot play over the top. So this is a play that's going to really, really um, move against that man up three deep as long as they don't do any adjustments to it. Now, if they come out and prevent, um, to me, prevent, you don't see a lot of that. I think most people realize they want to be in man. But we'll just show you here uh, this play, same route combination, but we're going to show it to you as if we were running it against prevent. Prevent will probably handle this fairly well. Um, it's primarily a route concept that's against, but you see, actually, no, no, you're going to get it. So against prevent or man up 3D, you're going to be able to hit that post. Um, and that's part of what makes Trips Tight End so good. So if you want the full guide on Trips Tight End, let me know. I can shoot you a text whenever that is released. Um, it's going to be a really, really good guide. Um, so far, we've got over um, two hours of material. Actually, I think we're over three hours of material just on Trips Tight End right now. And we're adding in you know, several other formations. We're going to go over Bunch. We're going to go over the Ace packages uh, within New England. We're going to go over the uh, U-trips, we're going to go over doubles, we're going to go over single back, uh, some of the single back sets, and of course some of the I-form uh, sets as well. So really, really, really comprehensive guide um, that we're about to release. In my opinion, it's going to be the most comprehensive, detailed guide on the New England Patriots playbook that's ever been written. So I'm really, really excited about it. But this play right here, if you're at the end of a half, you come out literally – if you wanted to do this, all you got to do, max protect, put your tight end on a, um, a post, snap the ball. Max protect, put your tight end on a post, snap the ball. From there, literally, and then just try to get them. Just try to get them in a quick snap. And you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at how, how you'll catch people. I'm telling you. Uh, you come out, you max protect, throw your tight end on that crossing route or post, and then just go. Get out of the pocket a little bit with Brady throw it as long as you don't get throw out a sack obviously um, and that's why it's so important to block the running back but if you have time in the pocket this thing's going to kill it so make sure you join the discord let me know if you want to be a part of the text membership it's completely free to get those uh videos about the bunch and about the big nickel over g and all that stuff that stuff's completely free um but other than that guys hopefully you enjoyed this tip i think it's going to be very very useful especially at the end of half something that you could use um to really get over the top of a defense really really well in madden 21 so uh, our next video or actually we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock so make sure to come hang out with us right here on youtube probably be playing some weekend league um and showing this offense off in weekend league see how we do but uh, so far i haven't lost a game with this offense this offense is really 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 powerful so anyways guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have any questions just shoot me a text again my number is in the description it's also in the top left hand corner of your screen and uh, we'll see you on tonight's live stream. Until then, check out some of the videos that are about to pop up. And we'll see you later.